everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to clean a crested gecko enclosure. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, of course, is remove the majority of your ornaments. Now if you have a handleable crested gecko, you might be able to remove your gecko right at the beginning. Mine personally does not like to be handled, so I always remove stuff. Um, as much as I can before I try to get him out, just so he doesn't have something to hide behind when I try to get him out. It's so sad, it sounds terrible, but there's really nothing else I can do. Once I have removed the majority of the items from my enclosure, that is when I go ahead and remove my gecko. If you have a tame gecko, then I would highly recommend taking your gecko out first and having that be your first step. Once I remove my gecko, I then remove my last ornament. Once you have all the ornaments out of the way, then you're gonna to want to remove your substrate. My substrate is a kitchen liner with just a little bit of moss on top. Um, in order to clean it up, I literally just roll up the kitchen liner and throw it into the trash. Now it comes to washing down the sides of your enclosure. Now one big thing with the crested gecko enclosure is because you are misting it so frequently, there's going to be a lot of hard mineral deposits all over the glass. So you're gonna be able to see these hardened droplets basically. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove this. Now a simple like reptile soap is not going to be able to get these off. Um, so you may be able to find a product called like mineral deposit remover or anything like that. But fun fact, that is basically just vinegar. So save yourself the money and just buy some vinegar. Basically what I do is I take the vinegar, add it to a little disposable cloth, and I wipe down the sides of the terrarium that way. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and wipe it down again with a reptile soap. This is going to cut the vinegar smell that is going to linger from any mineral deposit removing product that you are using um, and also it'll just give it a final clean. Once everything is wiped down, I then go ahead and rinse it off. So basically I just take my gecko's mist bottle and, and I almost use it as like a hose to spray the soap off the enclosure. Um, I just spray it down and then I wipe it down with some paper towels or a cloth to dry it off. One last thing that I would highly suggest is taking a wet Q-tip and just running it along the track that the door slides in. The reason I do this is because if you have moss in your enclosure or even sometimes some just waste, urates, something like that can get in that little track and it's an easy thing to do so I like to go ahead and just clean that out to make sure that there's nothing sitting in the track that might um, make it hard for the door to slide. At this point the terrarium itself should be clean. I always start with adding my substrate back in, it is usually the last to come out and the first to go back in. Like I said earlier I do use a kitchen liner. I can't remember the exact dimensions, but I do know that the width is 12 inches, which is the exact width of my enclosure. I usually make a little mark with just some scissors, just kind of cut a little bit that I know where I need to cut the rest. Um, and then I slide it out and we'll cut it off. That way it is measured and it's perfect for the little 12 by 12 square that is the base of my enclosure. The reason I put this in is because I like to use a lot of moss on the bottom of my enclosure to keep humidity up and I just find that this makes cleanup a lot easier. Now once I add the kitchen liner I am not done with the substrate. I choose to add moss as well as eco earth onto the kitchen liner to add a little bit of texture for appearance and also it will withhold humidity a lot better. A crested gecko enclosure needs to be high in humidity and moss and eco earth or coconut fiber will really help keep the humidity up. Now that the terrarium is clean and the substrate is in, you're ready to start adding your ornaments back in. At this point, I go ahead and wash them. I like to wash them all at once, so that's why I kind of push it off a little bit um, until we're ready to add them all in. Then 
then once they're all washed, I slowly start adding them in. I generally don't change it up too much. Um, geckos aren't usually a big fan of change. Um, I'm doing a slight uh, redecoration this time because I am using a new product. I have the Flukers retractable bamboo bars that I did not have before, so I am readjusting a little bit. But for the most part, I add everything back exactly where it was. I always add the necessities first. Once those necessary items are in, you can go ahead and add the decor for the rest of the terrarium. Once everything is in your terrarium and you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and fill up the water dishes and food dishes if it is time for your gecko to eat. I filled up the water dish on the bottom, the one at the top, and I also decided to put a few little mealworms into my Crested Gecko's worm dish. Like I mentioned earlier, he is very much not a fan of getting his enclosure cleaned, so whenever I finish it, I like to give him a few worms, which he loves to eat, kind of as an apology for annoying him. I buy his forgiveness with mealworms. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just give your enclosure a good misting, get that humidity back up, um, add the moisture to any new moss that you might have added. I go and get my gecko from the critter keeper. I put him into the enclosure and then I shut the door and I am all done. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. I have had my crested gecko for over a year now. I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time, but I just have never gotten around to it. So I'm really glad that I was able to get this video filmed for you guys. If you found it helpful, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.